Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're back. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the season four premiere of Game of Thrones, stop listening now. Major spoilers. Here we go. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about um, everything that's going on inside of uh, Game of Thrones, the season one episode. I just want to talk about what's important to me and um, what they gave us, man, was epic. I mean, I absolutely am happy, man. I'm absolutely happy. Uh, here's what happened, man. Uh, we got to see Khaleesi um, with her dragons, and here's what's crazy about it, okay? These things are massive. They're huge. It makes no sense how big they got, um, but what I love about it is that they actually did that. They actually allowed the dragons to <laughs> to become dragons. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, we've been waiting for these dragons to appear forever, okay? And then we got um, uh, opportunity to see them uh, set some people on fire, fly around, um, you know, get fed in the air when you threw some, you know, raw flesh or whatever. But but today's episode, tonight's episode, it was crazy, man. Um, so here, 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 here's what happened. Okay, you got Khaleesi. She's sitting on this rock, and you, you see these. Uh, you see the dragons, man. They're they're flying in the air. There's two of them flying in the air. Obviously, there's three total. Um, and then there's one that's sitting on the rock right next to her. Okay, and you're sitting here like, okay, this is the mother of dragons. This is the best thing that has ever happened on the face of television. This is the best thing on earth right now. Okay, there's finally meaning to your life because you get to see these dragons. I'm dead serious. I know this is kind of crazy, but that's that's how I feel. All of a sudden, man. Um, there's this, there's this food, man, okay, this, this, this raw flesh gets thrown down somewhere, okay, and, um, it, it hits the rock, and then the rest of the, the, the two dragons that are up ahead, you know, flying around, they come down, now you have three dragons that are kind of right next to each other, and there's raw flesh, but what's crazy about it is that Khaleesi, the mother of dragons, okay, she's sitting there, and these things are going after the flesh, okay, and, you know, they start fighting each other, man, pretty much, you know, because they're they're beasts, they're dragons, man, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. They're like the cousins of Smaug, okay? And and they're fighting. So Khaleesi, she tries to touch one of the dragons, okay? And um, the, I got the picture. The picture that you see um, on, on my Facebook page, Twitter page, and stuff like that, man, um, that's the dragon I'm talking about, the one that she's sitting next to. It's the biggest dragon that's out there. She tries to touch its wing and, like, calm it down. This dragon turns around and it's like, yo! <laughs> I mean, just, you know, just screams at her face, man. I'm about to rip her face off. She'd have been the mother of dragons without a face, man. She'd have been like the, faith, the faceless mother uh, without any dragons because she'd have been dead. She'd have been instantly ripped in half. And, <laughs> yeah, they would have fed on her body. They'd be like, oh, my God, Khaleesi, Khaleesi, what happened? <laughs> That's what would have happened, man. Um, she tries to calm them down, all right? Uh, the dragon turns back and kind of rebels against her, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you know, they eat the flesh and they take off. You know, they start flying and, you know, making dragon noises or whatever. Um, then the old dude comes up to her. Not the old, old dude, but the, I guess the dude uh, that's always been protecting her, that's always been there. He um, took her on that journey to the Unsullied. And um, I forgot his name. Whatever the dude's name is. He has, like, blonde hair or whatever. It's kind of slick back and stuff. He was with... Um, uh, Drago, if you guys understand what I'm talking about, that dude, that dude, not the old dude that saved her from that scorpion thing, no, 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 whatever that dude's name is with the blonde hair, he, he comes up to her and he's like, Khaleesi, <laughs> Khaleesi, the dragons, they can never be tamed, you know, and then she's kind of sad because she's the mother of dragons, those are her kids, you know, but there's nothing that she can do because... <laughs> Because they're dragons. They're dragons, man. Period. It's 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 that crazy, man. Okay, man. Um um going to the next one, okay? Lady Sansa, man. Let's talk about her. She's not eating. Um she's she's pale as I don't know what, man. She looks like death. And let's just go ahead and be honest with that. Um she looks really, really bad, man. Um she didn't um have any opportunity to smile in this episode until this drunk dude came out of the woodworks, which I thought was she was going to die because um, there was like this chase scene, all right? And, and before I kind of get to that, let me kind of go back for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> here's, here's what happened. Here's what happened, okay? She doesn't want to eat. She doesn't want to eat lemon cakes. Uh, Shay tries to give her some lemon cakes. Um, she doesn't want to listen. She doesn't want to... She's just like, please, just leave me alone. My family's dead, Joffrey. <laughs> Joffrey, Joffrey's dead. I, I don't know what to do. You know, but she's like, you know, King, King Joffrey, he, he keeps me prisoner. <laughs> but anyway, like she, she's, uh, she's, she doesn't want to eat. And um, 
she uh, goes to this place where people normally go to pray, but that's the only location that she can go to escape to where people won't talk to her. She just wants to be left alone, man, just to be honest. And um, they're, they're, they're trying to, uh, to, to get her to eat and trying to get her to kind of, I don't know, not really like get over her family's death, but to kind of, I guess, live instead of just dying, you know, and that's what's happening to her. She has a little bit of glimmer of hope, man, because there's this guy, and I guess to make a long story short, the guy gave her this necklace from his from his uh, mother or whatever, and um, it was at a time when there was another family um, inside of uh, the kingdom that was going to rule, and he's what's left over. So I guess it's kind of showing her um, that there is opportunity to to live, and you know things that are so bad in your life, you know, can can get a little bit better or whatever. Um, <clears throat> well, let me see what else, man. Um, Next week's episode, we're going to have uh, Dire Wolves, we're going to have uh, Hodor, uh, which I thought he was going to come, you know, this this episode, but obviously we didn't. Um, we did get to get a, a little bit of answer for um, um, for the Lannisters, man. They gave uh, the, the dude that doesn't have a hand, and I don't really care about these characters, man. They, they really, I don't Any Lannisters, I don't really care about them, just to be honest with you. So I don't care about their names or none of that. Um, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, he has a golden hand. It was kind of disrespectful because they took... Um, they took the, uh, the swords, man, and they melted them down, all right, which, which, I, I mean, I think it's just so disrespectful, man, they took the swords, they melted them down, they gave, um, they gave the dude a, a sword, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, he's one of the baddest swordsmen in, in the, in the realm or whatever, but now he has one hand or whatever, um, but, I mean, that, that's still cool, man, that's still cool, um, let me see what else, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, just let's focus on next week. Next week's episode looks pretty, pretty nuts, man. Looks like more dragons. Um, looks like they're gonna actually uh, take you into another uh, realm or another kingdom to to conquer that uh, with Khaleesi and the rest of the uh, Unsullied. And um, that's pretty much it, man. Um, those that's how my um, podcast for. Game of Thrones is going to go, man, because I'm just only going to talk about the characters that I like. I don't really talk about anything anybody else. Um, we did get to see uh, King Joffrey um, in this episode, and no, he's not dead yet. Hopefully one of these days he'll die, because I can't stand that character, just to be honest. Um, that's pretty much it, man. We didn't see anybody else, man. Oh, we did get to see... Um, I think, did I talk about that? No, no, we didn't. Uh, Snow is awake. Okay, he's awake, and uh, he got reunited with Sam. Um, he got to go in front of the, um, <clears throat> the 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 King's Guard and tell them the situation with uh, the White Walkers and the Army of Dead. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. Um, Egret is um is still on the hunt. Oh, before I leave, man, before I leave, okay, Banshee's albino is inside of Game of Thrones. If you don't know what Banshee's Albino is, go and watch Banshee Season 1. You'll understand that. No spoilers. Yeah. It's it's that serious, man. Yeah. So, it looks like we're going to have a great season of uh, Game of Thrones, man, Season 4. So, guys, yeah, just uh, tune in, I guess, uh, next week, man, and I'll talk about it some more. Um, I'm about to rewatch this bad boy right now. And uh, I guess maybe next week uh, I'll have a little bit longer uh, podcast, man, maybe talk about some more stuff. But I'm really happy, man. I'm really happy. I got to see Khaleesi. got to see Sam. Uh, Shay. Um, got to see, um, uh, Sansa and, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, man. I think we're out of here. Yeah. That's probably horrible. Yeah. Whatever.